If you were planning on seeing Bruce Springsteen Saturday night at Camden Yards, and I was, you won't. Uh, he has uh, been diagnosed with a peptic ulcer and has canceled all of his September concerts with a promise of revisiting those locations uh, once uh, possible. Saw Springsteen in 1984, the Born in the USA tour, before it went stadium-wise. It was uh, an arena tour, and it was uh, just an amazing show. So almost 40 years later, I'd planned on seeing him again. Who knew both of us would still be going at that time, John? I didn't. (laughs) In In studio with Mary Beth Blair from the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival. MB Squared, how are you? I am good. How are you guys this morning? I am I am great. Yeah. Thank you. Good. I got Mr. Doyle with me, and he's got caffeine today, so he's better. That's scary, right? <laughs> oh, it's better. No, he didn't have caffeine the last time he coasted. And gotcha. it, was, I, I, it was like he was in a coma or something. <laughs> Not good. Can you imagine a quiet John Doyle? That's no, what I had. No. I, I didn't oh recognize. God. I know who it was. Isn't that your job to have coffee waiting for them when they get here? No, no. they don't do that here anymore. No, I, I don't oh, drink anymore. coffee. I don't oh. drink coffee, so I don't. Mm-hmm. There you go. Back on the many years that I was the daily co-host here, uh, we Uh used to have coffee ready for people, but they don't do that now. Well, we had a person out front back then. We don't have a person out front now. That that is correct. Yeah. Uh Scaling back, leaning lean and mean, mean, baby. Hey, that's what you. I was thinking. Yeah. <laughs> Matt Harvey is here as well, Jefferson County Prosecuting Attorney. Uh, Mary Beth, you have an announcement to make. I do. I'm very excited to be here this morning on behalf of the Mountain State Apple Harvest Festival Board. Um, you've got the exclusive Rob here on TV 10. We are officially today announcing for our 44th festival that is October 19th, 20th, 21st, and 22nd, coming up very soon, that um, our celebrity grand marshal is Miss Skylar Shea, and we're thrilled to have her, and she is hopefully on the other line joining us, she and her husband Christian, um, just to give us a little uh, interview and talk to us about the decision uh, to have her, and if I can, just so that the audience knows a little bit about her, she is an American actor actress. She was born and raised in L.A. Um, She's best known for her work as Chloe uh, in the Bratz movie. I don't know if you guys, what age you are to know if you know what that is. (laughs) (laughs) I don't. Okay. Uh, Kate, she also uh, played Katie Bryce in Grey's Anatomy. Most all people have watched or someone in their house has watched Grey's Anatomy. And most recently, she uh, played Joy in Paramount's uh, latest horror film, Dangerous Game. We're very excited because she also, one of the things uh, with the, the Mountain State Apple Harvest Board of Directors, just really quick before we bring her on, when we choose a celebrity uh, grand marshal, the past few years, we they've been sports related. We kind of mix that up. Sometimes it's sports. Sometimes it's in the entertainment industry. And in years past, we've actually had both. Um, this year's decision, uh, all decisions usually are, it's better if we can find someone with a community connection. We like to have someone serve in that role who is connected to us because this festival is all about our roots and celebrating the the heritage of our community. So Skylar has a natural uh, connection with her. Um, she's married to Christian Lopez, who is born and raised in the. Well, I think he was born and raised here, but he's he from this community, and everyone knows Christian um, and his family. And and they Christian and Skylar also have a home here in Berkeley County in Martinsburg. So there's a great community connection. Our board has found that when we have someone with that connection, they tend to be. Uh, promote the festival more passionately because they're connected so we're we're thrilled to have her and for for our community to get to know her a little bit she'll be here for four days Skyler and Jamie, good morning. Thank you both so much Jamie, for being with us. You just said I'm sorry, Jamie. Jamie's his dad. <laughs> Christian. Yes, please say Christian. Hi. <laughs> yes. I, I knew Jamie and Leslie, his parents, before I knew Christian. Okay. So. Well, like, well, that's one I pass. Yeah. Hi, Mary Beth. Hi, how are you? Hi. Good. Very great, thank you. Thank you so much for joining us this morning for the official announcement, Skyler. And we're just we're thrilled to have you for the four days and for the community to get to know you a little bit better. And maybe you can just share with us a little bit about what you're looking forward to um, during the festival. Yes, thank you. I'm so I'm so excited to be part of it. Of course, Martinsburg is a second home to me. You know, it's been six years now, so um, it's 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 just it's magical. Harper's Ferry down, you know, down over in West Virginia. Christian takes me down to Harper's Ferry, and I just love everything about the small town. 
you know, small town America. And, um, you know, I, I, you know, I do, I do movies about that. You know, my Hallmark movies are about, about the small town America. So to be able to truly experience it, um, it's just been the most beautiful experience. And I'm so, I'm so looking forward to being part of it. And, and Christian, are you there still? Oh yeah. Oh man. How you doing, man? <laughs> I'm doing good, Rob. I'm glad this is all happening. It seems like such a so it's, it's all sort of destiny, you know, all coming together with uh, with with the Apple Harvest Festival this year. So we're excited to see it all happen. Well, it's great to have you both with us. And uh, Skyler, I have seen your work because I was a rabid Ray Donovan fan, and you were in that series. I sure was. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Uh, tell me your your uh, your experience on that set with uh, some of my favorite actors, including Lieb Schreiber. Oh, well, thank you very much. That was such an amazing, amazing project to be part of. Um, uh, it was, um, it was, it was, it was, you know, it was, the reason it was so amazing for me was not only was an unbelievable cast, an unbelievable crew. Um, my godfather is, you know, was, was part of the show and he played um, Mickey Donovan. John so Voight. To be able to work with John Voight, correct. And to be able to just work with him on a, on a, on a project that heavy was such an unbelievable learning experience for me. And we had a great time. I was able to you know, work with Leo, and everybody was so gracious, and just it was it was it was cool. It's a pretty funny story too, because she usually tells you know if we're at the dinner table, she'll tell about how a uh, uh, you know she had to play a, uh, a scantily clad woman at the hotel in the show. You know, pretty 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 um you know yeah. And John had to uh, had to jump in and save the day. And he had to jump in. Was, yeah, she wore enough. Yeah, it was a funny little. If, if, you, if you if you remember, my outfits are really promiscuous mm-hmm. during this season of Ray Donovan, and my godfather had a little bit of a issue with it, so he kept trying to tell them on set, "Whoa, whoa, whoa! You know, <laughs> you know, cover up a little bit more, please." Now he was at your wedding, correct? Of course, yes, he was. He was right there. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, yeah he was. He's yeah, a great thank actor. You. And you, yeah. for, for those who are listening who want to know a little bit more about Skyler and even there was recently People Magazine did uh, last year when they, they're getting ready to celebrate their one year anniversary of marriage together. And they did yeah. an exclusive on the wedding and you uh, on our Facebook page that will launch after um, the page will uh, be active after this interview. You'll be able to find a link to that People uh, Magazine article. And that's a great, I love of all those pictures they captured that mm-hmm. would talk about magical that looked like a magical day for you guys as well it was a dream come true truly so yeah you can learn more about skylar look up some of her work follow her uh on social media um and we're just looking forward to as i said she will be here for four days during the event and we will put on uh we you will know the public will know what Uh, events she will be at so they can come and meet her of course she'll be leading our parade and that's always just an incredible experience you talk about small town hallmark feeling that you know uh, there's nothing like Mm -hmm. a parade bringing out 20,000 people uh to to feel that to get that experience so we're uh looking forward to having you in that parade and of course she'll be like i said she'll be at other events down at the fairgrounds and our gala our coronation our grand ball so yeah we have a lot of exciting things coming up, and I'll be all back on the air to share all of that. Do you guys have any questions for Skylar? No, I don't. <laughs> I, have a, I do have a question for Christian. Christian, when are you performing next, and where? Um, next time I'm playing, you know, in the area, the closest thing is probably D.C. Uh, on October 5th. But uh, we're getting ready to announce a Christmas show um, uh, in the vicinity for December. But uh, can't say anything yet. But you know, definitely something soon. I, I can't go too long without without coming back. So, so uh, very nice. Hopefully, more details on that. But uh, Skyla and I will be on the road all all fall, going to Amsterdam and doing some Europe touring and things. And right before we come back to the Apple Harvest Festival, we'll literally be stepping off the plane from Amsterdam. So it's a busy busy fall. Uh, but we love it, and thankfully she loves it. Oh yes, it's so fun. <laughs> and and Skylar, how did you become an actress? Why uh, why this line of work? Well, you know, my family's all in it. My mom's side of my in my mom's side, they're all in the entertainment industry, and I I loved it. You know, I was around it, and I loved it. And I uh, I I, uh, I uh, was just that was it. That was my life. What was your first movie? How was my it? first movie. I was I I did my first movie when I was about seven years old. What movie was that? It was a movie called Reverse Heaven. 
scary movie. It was a scary movie. Yeah, it was a very scary movie. And how did you and Christian yep. meet? Oh, that's the sweetest story. Actually, the, one of the um, photographers that shot, shot a Hallmark campaign for me from one of my Hallmark movies shot Christian's album cover, Red Arrow. Yes, so we met through a mutual friend, great photographer, who uh, I guess sort of knew that we'd get a buzz from each other, and he was spot on. So <laughs> here we are. He sure was. That's great. Skylar, what would you say has been your favorite role or favorite um, ex- acting experience over the years? That's a very good question. You know, it's really interesting. They're all obviously all of, all of the line of work is really, really, you know, unbelievable to experience. But I would have to say either Grey's Anatomy or Brat, just because of the impact sure. it has touched fans around the world. Right. You probably still get recognized for those roles, I'm sure. And when you're out touring with Christian and in the community. I can't take her anywhere. I'll tell you. <laughs> uh, I love yeah, seeing all I of to, it's, it's a... Yeah. I love seeing you guys on the red carpet and it's just like I'll see pictures on various entertainment industry sites and there's Christian, <laughs> our hometown hero too, and right at your yeah. side. So it's you guys complement each other well in your, your careers and it's just it, it's been a joy to watch both of you guys excel and we're like I said, the Apple Harvest Festival is so thrilled to have you. Um have you both, um, especially you, Skylar, and just really um have have the opportunity to just show you a little bit more about our heritage and, and, and especially the Apple industry. So we're looking forward to having you. I think, I think I'm so looking forward. We're so looking forward. Colin has some of the wedding photos. You want to bring those up so everybody can see uh, on the day of their nuptials. There you go. There's a nice so photo. So nice. <laughs> yeah. Wh- where were you folks? Because we have a lovely backdrop behind you. Thank you. We were in Santa Barbara. Santa Barbara. Well, I would, I would like, Skylar, I'd like to congratulate you on, on marrying a nice West Virginia boy. <laughs> Thank you. I agree with you. He's the best of the best. Well, I, I think he was <laughs> raised right. What happens you. once you go West Virginian? Yeah. Well, I mean, that's, just, that's the same thing with my wife. <laughs> yeah. She, she married, you know, she's not from West Virginia, so yeah. we're doing our best. <laughs> Good well, job. Well, you know what? He's representing you very well. Very he, nice. He is. He Thank is. you, sir. You're welcome, baby love. <laughs> Where are you guys right now while you're talking to us? We are sitting 647 in Los Angeles. So we woke up early for this, and we're having coffee, and we ordered some, some IHOP. It's on the way. <laughs> on cozy morning in Los Angeles. Well, you still do have the West Virginian in you, do you? <laughs> ordering the IHOP. Well, you know, they, look, they don't got Waffle Houses out here, but that's the closest <laughs> I can get. That's right. That's awesome. Well, good for you guys. Uh, did you have anything else for them, Mary Beth? Uh, no, just really encouraging everyone uh, to get online and check her out and check out our um, page for her and when she'll be a part of the Apple Harvest. I hope that everyone has that, you know, saving the dates for our 44th festival. We have an incredible lineup for the four days. So many things to see, do, experience. Um, and you know that I'll be back again and again to share all of that. Right, Rob? Absolutely. You've got me pinned in. Right? I'll be here. Okay. Yeah. And it, we may even, I don't know if it'll work out, but over the four days, maybe we could even get Skylar in the studio and live in person here. Awesome. She and Christian. So. Do you guys get to that see much of each other, Skylar and, and Christian, with your schedules? Are you kidding? We don't, we don't, we don't let go of each other. We, make, we, make, we set up our schedules to where she can tour with me full time. And if she's working, I can set time aside and be with her full time. So we really, you know, try to stretch uh you know um there are realities I, I i need i need him by my side you know at this point i can't make a move without him it's well, awesome we love nice. it we love it well all the best yeah. to both of thank you thank you for getting up early to thank be with you. us of course we're excited and i'm going to play us into the thank break with uh, and colin will take the uh the t- last two minute break uh, now so if you can move that up a little bit that'd be great we play some christian lopez music heading hey. the break. Right, christian and <laughs> skylar thanks so much Thank you, guys. Thank you. This uh, segment of our program today brought to you in part by Parsons Ford of Martinsburg. We became number one by making you number one first at Parsons. Find out more at ParsonsFord.com. Save the world if you let me Run away with the girl but if only That final scene was where I belong Well, there's a little secret in our town It's called my home 
Ravensburg.com. <laughs> and it tells you what's going on. Do you know who this is? Yeah. Yes, that's Christian. But where is that from, that song? This is from 2011. Get out. I wonder if they're still listening. No, they they left. They did. I mean, they could be. They could be listening, could on, be Facebook. listening on Facebook. So Christian Lopez comes into the studio. This is a dozen years ago because I checked the date on this recording. It's from 2011. Yeah. All right. All right. So he comes in and he's got uh, two or three other musicians with him. And okay. Do you remember the hometown get around? Oh guy? yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so Christian comes in, and they're going to record this promo for the Hometown okay. Get-Around Guide uh, that uh, I guess they printed thousands and thousands of those. And they sit down, and one the one dude's literally like beating on a box. Uh-huh. That's what you hear is the percussion in the uh-huh. background. Christian's playing a guitar. Okay. And baby-faced young kid. <laughs> okay, they yep. come in, they sit down, and they do this. This is the second take right there. And I am blown away. Yeah. And I look at the kid and I, I'm like, dude, you're headed for big things. This, yeah. is, this is different than yeah. any of these other things that I've recorded from musicians before sure. locally. You're going to be bigger than doing little shows yeah. around, around town. And uh, you could see hey, the talent right away. You spoke prophetically into his life. So that was his 60 second promo for the Hometown Get Around Guide <laughs> a dozen years ago. Wow. Hey, this segment of the show brought to you by the Skinner Accident and Injury Attorneys and Lawyers. If you've been uh, harmed or injured, contact the Skinner Accident and Injury Lawyers. They'll use all the resources to get you what you deserve. Find out more at SkinnerWins.com. Uh, so I've kept that and I kept it the entire time uh, kind of just in case. Yeah. One of those uh, way back when kind of things. Way back wins, just in case. But that was uh, impressive. For a little hometown get around guy, that's pretty, yeah. pretty good duty he struck there. So, yeah. anyway, uh, the festival this year, what else can you tell us about it? Well, of course, just reiterating the dates the 19th through the 22nd. Now, we also do two precursor events the week before. We have a Ruby and Rhinestone event. Oh, actually, I should, if Mr. Hornby's watching, he's like three, three events because mm-hmm. he, he has a new event that he and a team have created. The Ruby and Rhinestone event is for the ladies, just the ladies. And the men are doing a brews, beer, bourbon, and barbecue. I had to get all the bees in there. Brews, so beer, bourbon, barbecue. So the same night. So it's the Thursday before the festival kicks off for both events. And he has an incredible event planned for just the guys. So check that out. And then the Fall Classic, which we started a couple of years ago, um, it's the b- baseball tournament with area um baseball hot you know uh, mm-hmm. some of the top baseball players from all the high schools will be at musman high school the weekend before the festival so we have those things coming up we're excited about we'll be promoting those just would really like to get it out there for the people who are considering or haven't yet um signed up for the parade who want to be in the parade this year's uh festival uh, theme is apple palooza so it's it's kind of a retro theme we're going back to the old you know, party style of the 20s, like just a very, um, we, we want to bring the fun back to the festival. And so we're encouraging people to decorate with that in there, not only um, for the parade, if you're in the parade, I would encourage you to get an application in. Those are on our website, but also decorate your storefront, decorate your homes, get into it. We're going to have a contest for that this year. So just really trying to bring the uh, awareness and fun back into the festival as well this year. Your face is yeah. beaming. We're excited. <laughs> it's a party. <laughs> now, they don't do the sports breakfast per se anymore, correct? No, we don't. Uh, that kind of, uh, I don't want to say died out, but it, it during COVID, of course, that was the, but pre-COVID, we, we had the, we, we were doing that. And then we didn't bring that back. A lot of it is just logistics, to be honest. We don't have a facility that holds the, a volume of people that were attending that event. Um, and it was it was a really hard thing to coordinate with all of the area high schools. But yes, so we are doing the fall classic instead, and we do honor some of the athletes during that weekend. So that's kind of replaced it. Very nice, mm-hmm. John. You've gone strikingly silent I know. over he's the last few He's just not minute. into he's, apple. He's out of harvest. coffee. Yeah, we're no, gonna have to, is... we're gonna have to bring him an apple flavored coffee next time. Uh, no, <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> No, I. in terms of most of this, uh, I will confess, I know nothing about entertainment. Uh, I, in, in, in trivia contests, I do fine when it comes to history and politics and sports and all that. But a question comes about entertainment, 
I don't know. What is that? What is that? Somebody asked me one time what my J- favorite Jimmy Buffett song was, and I couldn't think of one. Uh-huh. Yeah, same way if the, uh, I've been asked, what's your favorite Beatles song? I can't think of one. I just know nothing about entertainment. So that's Fair the reason for, for me being quiet during all of this uh, exchange here. Unless it's a folk artist. Now, you, you were a big well, folk music guy. Uh, oh, yeah. Um, oh, oh, from 40, 50 years ago, yeah. Oh, I, 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 40, ta- 50 years ago was the 90s. No, it was. That's 30 years ago. <laughs> you can't 80s. count, Harvey. <laughs> that would explain why all those murderers are getting off on five years oh, no. <laughs> Matt, are you in the parade? Have you registered? I assume you are going to ride on a vehicle or something. I have not registered. See? It's it's Berkeley County. I'm yeah. a Jefferson County. Okay. The parade is in Berkeley County, but let's remember that the festival is all about all three our entire eastern panhandle so even though i mean we we anticipate people coming from your community to our parade well whichever whichever way will will allow my daughter my three-year-old daughter to enjoy it the most whether she's oh, I in bet it she or would on love the, to wave I think, and, I think and see everyone wouldn't she i think she this would. is the yeah. first i have heard that the apple har- apple harvest is intended to be all three counties Oh, yes, I have never always. heard that. If you go back to the original um, history of our festival, it it has always been intended to celebrate the entire region. So, in fact, our our, our maid elect is from Jefferson County. We've okay. had several. Um, we've honored Jefferson County um, uh, for our honored West Virginian honored orchardist in Jefferson County, and we have one of our events in Jefferson County, which is our Royal Gala at the Charlestown Racetrack. Mm-hmm. So. so, so there. Gosh, what is wrong with you guys? No, I, I, I've, I've never known that. We're going to educate you. you. I'm going to make sure the next couple of times I come on, they're here so yeah. I can make sure they know more. We're looking at a couple of isolationists I, over I'm here. I'm telling you. <laughs> yeah. Leave Jefferson County and lock the door behind you. And then barricade it once you get back in so no one can follow you. Hey, John, thanks for coming in, man. It's good to see you. Oh, you're welcome. You're back tomorrow. I Mr. will. Mr. Harvey's back next Thursday. And Mary Beth uh, Blair will be back frequently between now and the apple harvest festival good to see you again thanks for setting it up with skylar and christian absolutely always good to hear from christian and great to meet skylar there it's 10 o'clock